Strawberries, strawberries, everybody get some fresh strawberries, all right. <laughs> strawberries, strawberries, everybody get them fresh strawberries, all right. <laughs> Love the good and juicy and red and ready to eat. Strawberries, strawberries, look man a pine tree, yeah, they do. <laughs> I say they do. Mm, yes, they do. <laughs> Hey, do you love your strawberries? Now, no, do you love your strawberries? Yeah. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I put them on my ice cream. I put them on, I put them on my oatmeal. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Duncan Showroom, episode number 79 of the Eugene Smith and Billy Show. Holy moly, Gene. 79. 79. Billy. That's how old my sister is. Oh. Uh, does, that, does that number sound familiar That's to you? That's how old I am. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. That's, uh, yeah. are you looking forward to the big... Uh, 8 Yeah. I hope so. Uh oh <laughs> I got the delayed sound in my computer coming out, Tim. Okay, I'll mutt. I don't know how to do it. I'm not the technical guy. S Duh. <laughs> it happens. Oh. Things happen as we go along. Things, it's an interactive show. It's an interactive show. Oh, there. Well, thanks. Uh, yeah, you, uh, do you think you'll have a celebration? Could we throw uh, a party? We should throw a party. Uh, well, Let I'll your friends throw one. I'll leave that up to you. I oh, okay, mean, good. I'll, I'll throw my own surprise party. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow it's not the same, is it? Yeah. No. Okay. Well, that's a good answer. <laughs> Some people just refuse to be celebrated, which is weird to me. But uh, well, I might as well. It only happens well. once a year. Well, well, and also the big eight. Well, that's a that's I a know. huge one. Yeah, Monumental. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's uh, it'll be it'll be a treat. It'll be a treat. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we'll start working on that. That's a good plan, Gene. <laughs> nice. <laughs> See what we can cook up. But it's been a. Uh, What's uh, people? It's been a um, you know a nice ride so far. Well, you've been doing well. Uh, musical your holy almost entire life and uh, yeah, still creating. Yeah, so at least, like, at least yeah. uh, sixty-six years of my life. I right. Guess. Amazing, eh? Yeah. That's a good chunk. Oh, God, yeah. I keep uh, repeating that to myself. I tell people, oh, I've been doing uh, this uh, theater thing for 35 years, and it sounds yeah. substantial, and you think, oh, well, I must have learned something during that time. <laughs> <laughs> you hope. <laughs> I hope I learned something. <laughs> so yeah. you're, you've been doing good, and did you get out into the sun in the last couple of days? Oh, like I need it. Well, you need some sun. Like you're looking a, a little peaky. Little peaked, yeah. Well, <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, today I was out a little bit in the, nice. in the fresh air and the sun was oh, really beautiful. I was uh, people were so worried about the snowfall and everything else, yeah. and it's gone. Right. As, it's well, gone. It ha if it doesn't happen again, you know what that means. Right. Spring is in the air. Yeah, yeah. I know okay. the days are getting long, a little longer too. You know. Right. They are. It's so nice. Yeah. So yeah, nice. Really hey, nice. we should do a shout out to our friend Leany Beanie, who Leany. might be watching. Hi, Leany. Yeah. Her her cajon appeared on stage last night with who, Tim? Ventanas. Ventanas. Her cajon was on stage. A very lively Middle Eastern kind of a, what do you call it? A flamenco music. Yeah. Okay. A little, little spicy. Anyway, yeah. we wanted to say hi to Lini because yeah. uh, she's, she's up north. She's, she's mending. She's mending, yes. So all our thoughts and prayers. Don't say that. No. Our love. We'll send our, our love. Our love, yes. How about that? Yeah. Um, what did you bring? What have you been cooking on for your musical uh, I don't know. hors d'oeuvre? I don't, I don't know. I, I oh. just, uh, 
I, I, I was, uh, I did something with Diana and Chris uh, for right. Black History Month at the university. At the university on yeah. Friday, and I played my kalimba, and the one that she wanted me to do was the uh, Mother Earth. Oh, so good! Thank you, Mother. Yeah, and I yeah. and I did the song, and after I finished the tune, uh, some gentleman came up to me and started telling me a story about about because uh, I I told him the story about when I was um, um, called a Canadian Eskimo. Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> Down in Arkansas. Oh my God! Really? In the yeah. '60s, and got into a place. Yeah. Because the guy thought, well, Ronnie told him I was a Canadian Eskimo. Oh, great. The guy, he's, oh, come on in, you know. Yeah. But anyways, uh, so this gentleman came and told me his story. It was similar to what I, yeah. to my story, you know. It's kind of yeah. neat. Huh. But it was good. It was, um, I learned a little bit more about the djembe because she had a video there about the, about the drum. Right. The bells and the, you know, the gourds with the beads on them and oh, stuff. What are those called? Yeah, that's a tough question. I, I know. I love those. What is it? Calabash. Calabash, Calabash with yeah. a C. Yeah. Yeah. So that was kind of neat because you, you see the people actually playing them. And yes. And the <coughs> and describing what they were, how they work, and everything. Yeah. And uh, also, yeah, it was it was uh, Diana's really good at present, mm -hmm. you know, presenting Black history. Nice. Nice. And they've done it before there, I think. They're getting times. polished at it. Yeah, yeah, well, that's yeah. good. Uh, where does the djembe come from? What part of Africa? Well, it's there. The it's all over. It's there. It's all in the different uh, countries of Africa. Like yeah, you know, mm -hmm. and each one has a different way of making them. Yeah, yeah. And they some have three prongs. Mm -hmm. um, some have a bunch of prongs like mine, um, but it depends. But this one here was, <laughs> excuse me, because of the shape of it, it's not exactly round like a gourd or like, you know. Right. Um, this one was made in Mexico. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> yeah. Which is so nice. you can see why there's edges. Right, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight edges. It's made in Mexico, so. Yeah. But, um, so it was kind of neat to... Uh, playing that song because I don't do it very often. I love that song. Well, so you, well, you did it here <coughs> in the last uh, few months, maybe, and it was so good to hear it live. Uh, I, did, Again. I did, didn't I? <coughs> you did, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you're right. You don't pull it out that often. Amazing song. Well, you're not playing that one. No. Now how's, your, uh, how's your new work going? You going good? Uh, I don't have the clothes yet. I'm waiting for the shirt, you know, that says Bill on it. <laughs> Gorilla Property Services. Uh, for me, I like a uniform. So, oh, you're gonna get a uniform. <coughs> I'll be happy. Oh. He he promised me some swag, so he better deliver. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh nice. Hoodies, shirts, p proper shirts. It's like you got your pen, you got the glasses, you got the phone. Your. So do you, are you like in a day? In a day, are you from one end of the mall to the other end? Or I just walk all over the place and try to look busy, Gene. Oh okay. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy <laughs> busy. Sure. <laughs> it's good if you carry something. This is what I discovered. You carry a bucket is good. Might have something in it. Or uh, a tool. You know, a tool that's bigger than a screwdriver. It's good. Um, or, a, or an extension cord. That's That carries a lot of, you know, weight. Jeez, he must be on his way somewhere. What was what was that movie that uh, Morgan Freeman did with um, the, the bucket? You know, oh. bucket list. Bucket list. Ah, there yeah, you there go. you go. There you go. You said <laughs> you walk around with your bucket list. Yeah, that's right. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. But uh, I, I was just wondering, I, it's not as taxing on you as the other. No, track. no, it's good. I get to do a little bit of handiwork and uh, interaction with people and some note sending to my big bosses. And mm -hmm. yeah, it's good. Good mixture of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, the coffee's crap. Starbucks. Hate Starbucks. Oh, you have to get coffee at Starbucks? No, I don't. I never do. Oh. I drive to Coffee on the Moon, because that's real coffee. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, I always found that Starbucks coffee was always really bitter. It's hard. So strong. Like, yeah. I guess you can get weaker Starbucks, but it's most still people like that really strong. I don't know why. It's not good coffee. Then it, mm. it gets bitter after a while when it's that strong, Yeah. I think. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Hmm. All right, then. So you want me to do something? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I 
Well, he rocks in the treetop all the day long, humping and bopping and singing a song. All the little birds on David Street love the little rabbit go tweet, 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 rock the robin, rock the robin. Well, go rock the robin, cause you're really gonna rock tonight. Well, every little swallow, every chickadee, every little bird in the tall oak tree, the wise old down, the big black crow, flapping the wings, sing, go bird, go, rock the robin. All right, rock the robin. Well, go rock the robin, cause we're really gonna rock tonight. Well, the pretty little birdie at the bird band stand, tired of mama do the bopping that was grand. Start going steady, bless my soul. He up off the buzzard and the Oreo. He rocks in the treetop all the day long. Hop around, bump, and then sing the song. All the little birds on the day bird street love to hear the rhyme go tweet, 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 rock and robin. Oh, yeah, rock and robin. We'll go rock and robin, cause really gonna rock tonight. All right. Hop, doodle, doodle, loop. Bump, doodle, 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 Bump, doodle, 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 Bump, doodle, bump, 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 bump. Well, pretty little birdie at the bird band stand. Tied him off to the bop that was grand. Start going steady and bless my soul. He'll b -b 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 bop the buzzard and the Oreo. He rocks in the treetop all the day long. Hopping and bumping and singing a song. All the little birds on Daybird Street love to hear the rhyme go tweet, 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 rock and robin. Oh yeah, rock and robin. All right, go rock and robin, cause you're really gonna rock tonight. All right. Say go rock and rum, cause we're really gonna rock tonight. All right. Hey, go rock and rum, cause we're really gonna rock. Go rock and rum, cause we're really gonna rock. Go rock and rum, cause we're really gonna rock tonight. All right. Boop a doodle doop. Bump a doodle doop. Doodle doop doop. Bump a doodle doop. Doodle doop doop. Bump a doodle doop. Bump a dump a dump a dump. Rock and rum band. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Crikey. <laughs> oh, we like that Thank version. You. Yeah, you will. <laughs> and who wrote that one? It was, don't tell me. No, go ahead, tell me. It was, um, mm, we should know that one somehow. Oh, well. I like that version. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Lots of people have done that. Too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Michael Jackson has done it. Too. Right, right. He kind of made it famous, didn't he? Yeah. Huh. But it's further back than that. We'll find out later. Don't worry. Tim will look it up. We'll get lucky. <laughs> we'll get lucky. Well, I, I don't know. Somehow we'll find out. Bobby Who? Bobby Day. Bobby Day, of course. Bobby Day. Yes, I knew that. Did you? Yeah, you did. Yeah, right. the original one. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. It's changed over the years, probably. With all the whistling huh. and everything. like. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> doodly doodly doo. Nice. Well, Lini says hi from Camel River. Hi, hey, Lini. She's out there. So yes, our guest yes. this week... Uh, We've had the one guy, the one fell on with the big, the big bass guitar there. I don't know if they call it a bass guitar, probably not, eh? Uh, John Wade, who has uh, the longest running gig in the Couch and Valley, he claims, at the masthead. So he's very proud of that, as he should be. And, uh, you know, a very lively player. We love to have him here, and he's brought some great uh, combos of players over the 79 shows, hasn't he, Gene? Yeah. Yep. He's always a, you know, illuminating guest. And uh, I would have looked up Trevor, but John, of course, sent me the wrong number. Or something happened. It's probably my fault. There he is in the back. Uh, but let's welcome them, John Wade and Trevor Davies. Come on out. All right. Oh, you're so old. Look at that shirt, too. So clean. And Trevor, there he is. <laughs> How you doing, Trevor? Good. Good to see you. Good to see you. Yes, of course, I knew of Trevor when you were younger, a uh, young rocker. And uh, your group of friends. Uh, were you born in <laughs> we Duncan? Were just reminiscing, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was not born here, but not born uh, here. my parents moved here by the time I was two. So most, oh, more. Most of my life I grew you're, up here. You're mostly a Duncanite then. Yeah. And uh, some of your musical friends when you were teens are. were? Um, well, that particular band sort of spread all over. Yeah. Um, 
some of them are are musicians, but not professionally. Really yeah. Them. Yeah. But not everybody's stuck together. I haven't really been able to crack it either. To make really? It well, you've been uh, you've been working at it for a while. That's good, eh? I think here you are. <laughs> you made it to the top, kid. <laughs> wow. And did you? Uh, <laughs> did you study music along the way? Yeah, I went to Nanaimo's jazz program. You did, program. and you made it through. I did. Yeah. That's particularly notable. So many <laughs> Valley musicians meant for maybe a year and learned a lot. Yeah. But didn't you know that second year they say is hellish. actually my whole band went together. Really? These were all kind of rock musicians who were interested in experimental music and yeah. improvising, especially. Yeah. And uh, I don't think anyone made it to second year except me. Oh man! Out of the four of us, but take yeah. stand power. Yeah. So give us the name of the band and the name of the three other musicians, because I need to remember because I'm old. Uh, Freedom Toast. Freedom Toast. Yeah. Okay. Was our main group for. All those ten years, like maybe yeah, six yeah. to six to eight years. Yeah. And uh, I was fronted by myself and Deline Ellerbeck, who's Deline singing Ellerbeck. and playing keys. Mm -hmm. And she was the daughter of a musical theater family and right. lots of different skills in her background. Yeah. Um, then there was Roland Sartini early on, mm -hmm. who is a music teacher currently around here, I think in Mill Bay. Oh, that's great. So he's become a school teacher. And like he at Kelsey was a or brilliant something. young uh, composer at the time and yeah. guitar player and yeah. still is. But I'm not sure what school he's teaching at. But oh. Yeah. He's out there. Yeah. And then uh, Andrew Kent was his close Andrew, friend. Of course, and yeah. drummer. Yeah. And the son of Jim Kent. Yes. Who was local sound technician and recording engineer. Mm -hmm. Jim helped Zach Cohen build the woodshop studio and right. put it together. Yeah, yeah. And was sort of, yeah, a little bit Zach's mentor. Right. As far as I understand it, in yeah. terms of sound stuff mm -hmm. and production. And Dave Convery was the bassist. All right, okay. Yeah. Yeah. A local boy and yeah neat we all went to the same middle school and high school so we had quite a bit of oh, time that's to wild. hang out and exchange ideas and yeah at one point we were practicing twice a week oh we that's, quite dedicated that's great for yeah youngsters yeah. <laughs> didn't, you use, didn't you use the word psychedelic wasn't there something did you really yeah it was a psychedelic rock band. psychedelic rock yeah Ooh. did you start uh did you go to quamshin uh no i went to provo provo and the then to cow high yeah yeah i followed the french immersion program right through wow. so Provo and then Cal High. So any uh, contact with Devin Bailey? Was he there at Cal High? He was, yeah. yeah. I only had band as an extracurricular right. because of the French. Oh, yeah. yeah I yeah, couldn't yeah. take band, so I could only take jazz band or stage band after school. Right. That would be my first exposure to jazz music, though, really. Oh, that's good. What it would good, be eh? like to play in an ensemble and looking at the charts and all yes, that. Yes, yes. Sort of got me thinking about what we call legit music, which is when it's written on a piece of paper. Right. And, uh, <laughs> and then, you know... Two years later, I went into the jazz program in Nanaimo. Oh, great. Direct, directly out of high school. Yes. Yeah. Legitimate music. My friend uh, has passed since uh, James Pett, jazz player, used to say, uh, here's my friend Bill. He writes his own songs. He doesn't know how to play any real music. He's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. a folk folk music diss. You know? Never learned a note in his life, but he's making this stuff up. <laughs> That's right. He's just making it up. <laughs> well, we're so happy to have you two here, and welcome, John. Always a always a delight, and to see who you will bring with you. So, what's your happy to be here? Oh, what's your first uh, musical offering? Well, we're gonna play some jazz together because that's what we know nice. how to do. Of course, and that's uh, our history. Yeah. Good, good. We love it. We've had some interesting jazz when John's showed up, haven't we, John? Some old yeah. timey and yeah, all over the map. Some twenties and some. Some twenties, yeah, yeah. We're gonna be doing some stuff from the sixties. Ooh, nice. And, uh, just a couple of numbers. Things. Trevor and I worked together with uh, a young singer named Jillian Stone for a while, and that's where I got to know him. Jillian, of course, our friend Jillian. She's doing amazingly in Toronto. Have you heard the the latest album? Yep. yep. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, she's eh? been a couple times to visit, and she actually sang backgrounds on my album. Last Great. Time as well. yeah. Isn't she wonderful? Oh, yeah. yeah. Maybe yeah. that's the last time I saw you, wasn't it? Time and Space when she did the. Yeah, that could have been. Yeah. yeah. We're not a great sound mix, but. It was yeah, good to see you. <laughs> it's like being in a little empty bedroom, but yeah. Right, right. <laughs> All right, well, uh, welcome, guys. Thank you. Should we do recording my first? Oh, okay, sure. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs>
Thank that you. That was great. Thank That's you. That's a Joe Henderson tune called yeah. Record May. <clears throat> Sorry, who was it? Joe Henderson. Joe Henderson. Yeah, he's oh. a saxophone player. It has what? What key is that in? A minor. A minor. Yeah, it has that kind of feel, doesn't it? It does. And just a little inside outside, uh, you know, messing around there. It's yeah. wow. Lovely. And that, it that goes through several different keys, you know, as it's going down there. Right. That's one key. Yeah. But it's mainly overall an A minor. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. That's <laughs> why we go to school. <laughs> <laughs> well did you have uh, Pat Coleman, of course? Yeah, uh, as a private yeah. teacher. I right, did, yeah. nice. Yeah. Is he still in it, or did he retire? No, he's retired and not doing well physically. Oh, so that's yeah, sort oh, of a sad leave to hear. Medical leave, I guess you'd say. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Because yeah. he had many, many good years kind of helping develop that program, didn't he? Well, or definitely he was the guy on guitar. Yeah. And people would go there specifically to, to right. study with him. Right. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry to hear his health isn't good. Terrific What's that? Mentor. Really yes. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Neat. Uh, what are you playing there? What is that guitar? Well, actually, this is modeled after what Pat plays. Yeah. And you'll see these guitars around because a lot of his students have done this. Right. Um, so there's a couple of factors. A Telecaster is a fine guitar for jazz, but it normally has a single coil pickup, yes. which is a little bit brighter and twangier. Yeah. So you can have everything about a Tele, yeah. but just put a Gibson humbucker there, mm. and you get sort of more a, a jazz tone. Nice. Um, so that was his idea, and that comes yeah. from a little bit of a tradition in solid body jazz guitar right. that includes people like Ed Bickert from yeah. Canada and people like Ted Green. Nice. Played pretty much exclusively Telecasters. Yeah. Um, and then the number two reason is because it's just cheaper to order from this company in the States called Warmoth. It's like oh. a replacement <laughs> part company. Right. Than to actually get a Fender. Oh, man. And um, the added benefit is this company, like if you were to break the neck or something on yeah. the road, you could get another one sent to you for oh, that's brilliant. like 150 bucks US. So right. it's that's quite convenient and cheap that way. That sounds amazing. Um, and you can design them to your specifications when you yeah. order, order from them. So that was, that's the reason. And hmm. yeah. Sorry, what's the company again? Warmoth? Warmoth. W A R M O T H. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Easy if you need any replacement parts or anything, customized knobs and switches and all that stuff. I love that. You can yeah. order them from them. Yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, do you write as well? I do, yeah. Yeah. Nice. So I haven't talked about my original music but i've been a singer songwriter as well f since that's what i thought about yeah. 2010 or since yeah. freedom toast really mm -hmm. um but i went out and did my own album under my own name in right. 2011 yeah so that's called vanity press yeah and then just last year i did another one. Oh right i had seen that yeah. so it's called revisions yeah by trevor davies and um i recorded it at silverside sound mm -hmm. in gobble hill Silverside is, uh, what's that fellow's name? It's Lucas McKinnon's studio, Lucas McKinnon. and okay. he's also a drummer, yeah, so yeah. it was convenient to have him do both. Good, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he plays drums on the record, and it's a full cast of musicians, right. and uh, it would have fit on a CD, but I really wanted to print a record, and so it ended up being on two discs of a record. So it's yeah. a double LP, in fact, but it's really just a long, a long LP. Right, nice. Plays over the three sides, and then I've got bonus material on the fourth side. Good, good. And it was fun to design the cover and everything and go through the whole process. Yeah, yeah. But you can also stream it, listen to it digitally. Good. Yeah. And have you been able to uh, tour it a little bit? Or uh, how's your... Not tour it so game? much, just play locally. Right, nice. Yeah, yeah. a few little things, some acoustic nights, and yeah. mostly solo. I think we might come here in the next few months and play with Good. the full band. And oh, do that's great. Do that material. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Well, I look forward to seeing that. Huh. Good. Well, what a great progression. I'm glad you stuck with it, and you might have uh, taken a day job too. What do you? What else do you do? Well, I'm teaching music. There you go. Good. So, <laughs> mostly privately, but over yeah. the years, I've taught in Victoria and Nanaimo, right. and uh, now Duncan Music, which has become along McQuaid. Oh, it, it did. And, yeah, Finally it, rolled uh, over, eh? Yeah. Oh. Oh, wow. And they're in the same location until the summer, at which point they will have a bigger space okay. and hopefully some nice new lesson rooms, and I'll have my own. Well, that's good. Office. I started off uh, covering for other teachers and filling yeah. in the gaps here and there so I don't have my own room. Right, right. Um, and I'm also teaching a school 
program, a music workshop yeah. on Penelicate Island. Oh, neat. So they have a learning center over there for high school age kids. Yeah. And they also have an elementary school that's yeah. a full-fledged school. Well, that's brilliant. And so I go into the adult school and do mm. sort of a rock music workshop, music mm. technology, yep. that sort of thing. And um, give the kids private lessons on instruments as well if, right. they, if they want them. Gotcha, yeah, So yeah. I can sort of help people with like four to five different instruments. Mm -hmm. I have something to say about guitar, bass, piano, drums. Yeah, yeah. Um, or songwriting, stuff like that. But now it started at the elementary school as well. They want recorder lessons and yeah, percussion yeah. and maybe some ukulele. So it's expanding. Ah, great. And uh, we'll see. I might become a, a school teacher as well or a band <laughs> teacher in the end. Well, it sounds like you enjoy teaching. I do, yeah. Yeah, so that's a real bonus to know that you can do both. I mean, uh, I think some people mistakenly think that teaching is the end of uh, one's own creative life, but of course it doesn't have to be. It uh, can be complementary to it. So that's no, I really enjoy it, and music is one of those things that just, there's no end to it. You can look yeah. into it for the rest of your life and never yeah. find the bottom. Right. So even explaining the fundamental concepts to, to young people yeah. is fun for me. Yeah, yeah. It can be a little bit you know, repetitive if you're having to show the same things over and over. And right, like right. How to play a string. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's certain things you can figure out on your own. Yeah. But yeah. the whole act of talking about music and uh, mm -hmm. trying to understand it more, yep. and trying to convey it to people is uh, one of my favorite things. Oh, that's so, great. Yeah. Sounds like you found your niche, my friend. It's good. That's a good thing in this life. Here, I've been acting all my life, so I'm acting now as a maintenance man. But that's a, that's the gig, right? <laughs> Some of us, <laughs> a good enough actor could do anything, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> make it believable, at least. That's right. Well, it's so good to have you here, and uh, yeah, I hope we uh, that I get to see the your gig when you come here, and that you uh, continue creating. What's what's the second piece you brought for us? We're gonna play "Beautiful Love," which is uh, an old Jerome Kern standard. Yep. It's one of the most commonly played jazz tunes you'll nice. you'll encounter. We love the classics but we're here, gonna, don't we, um, We're going to do it as a Latin feel. Oh, great. We'll do it as a straight feel because it yeah. will work better with Eugene. The wild man over there. Hi, Gene. And it's more fun, too. <laughs> I am, too. <laughs> I'm both accounts. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I do, yeah. Oh, you do? Yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> Ready? Yep. All right. This is Beautiful Love. Thank you.
<laughs> Interesting ending. I thought you were going to morph into some cowboy jazz there for a minute. <laughs> Nicely done. That's a, that's a great version of that. Well, certainly glad that your life has uh, led you where it has and you continue to be creative and useful in your passions. You know, that's, that's such a great life. Have you got kids? No. No, well, there's no. time. You've got time in your hands. There you go. Yeah, extra time. <laughs> Lots of time. <coughs> um, we, uh, we get to mix with the national treasure now on the outro. <laughs> Don't we, Gene? <laughs> national treasure. National huh? treasure. Going from local treasures to national. Local, <laughs> national, we're all over the map. What, <laughs> what key you have the boys in? International treasure, really. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. <coughs> And so glad you guys could make it. Really appreciate you coming oh, out. Sweet. That was really, yeah, really sweet. Well as done. As long as I'm not a buried treasure. A ba you're not a buried treasure, Gene. You're alive and well. That's right. <laughs> what key in for the boys? Uh, yeah. okay. Just a um, shuffle and see. A one, a two, a one, two, two.
up there it really turns into magic doesn't it gene yeah. nice work john wade trevor davies thanks so much gentlemen much, that was really fine Cheers. eugene smith my name is bill levity thanks to longevity john and dr ted cadillac on the board and to our guests Thank you. thanks week. for coming out next in two weeks we got don wilkie standing in for beverly mckean who's back taking care of her mom all our best to beverly and her mom yeah. thanks gentlemen we'll see you again soon good yeah. night everybody good night. thank you now Strawberry, strawberry, yeah, she wants it. Mm, 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 yes, she do. Woo! Yeah, strawberry. Mm, mm. Mm, mm. I gotta go way down south, little eyes of Jean. She do not talk about little eyes of Jean. Oh, little eyes, oh, 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 little eyes of Jean. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> sure laugh at my pain. Jean. <laughs> Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it.